In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Warcraft 2 Abandonware in Defend. A lot of people have had issues setting this up because the game required a CD to play, and now it doesn't require a CD as it's Abandonware, but you still have to have some work around to actually make it playable. So we'll start out here by just going to the browser, and we'll go to myabandonware.com to grab the game. Just search Warcraft and click on Warcraft 2, download, and then the download button at the bottom, and open. I'll just cut the video here to where the download is almost done. Okay, so the download is just finishing up. So you'll see the download actually has the Mac version and the Windows version. So I'm using Windows, we'll use the Windows version. So first you open up a personal folder, go to Defend, and then Virtual Hard Drive, and drag and drop Warcraft 2 into that folder. I'm just going to rename my folder to War 2. And then open up Defend. We'll click Add, Add with Wizard. Hit Next, and program to be started. Select that, go into the War 2 folder. First file you want to select is the WC2 crack. We need to run this first before running any other files. And then in this screen, uh, if you had selected the War2.exe, it will show up a preset profile there for Warcraft 2. You can choose that or just go with the default template. They changed what the graphical settings are, but I haven't seen any visual difference in the game. So I just stick with the default template, because we, either way we have to edit a couple settings because the preset template doesn't actually improve the playability of the game. And then I'll just change the name to War 2 and hit OK. And then we'll run the file. It asks if you want to overwrite the file. I'll just get this out of the full screen so it doesn't flash on you and so we want to overwrite those two files it exits and then go into the war2 folder open up the war2.ini configuration file and the very first line there says cd path equals dot we want to change that period to a hard drive letter for me I'll just select d colon and then exit and save that and then go to edit in the war2 file and defend and change the file that will be launched now to setup while we're in here let's go to the CPU change that to simple a lot of people they like to change CPU cycles to 20,000 for this game personally I find simple actually works a little bit better makes the gameplay a little smoother but you can do what you want there and in memory, there's nothing to change there. Graphics, you don't need to change anything there. I'll just turn off the start and full screen mode so you don't have to have the screen flashing on you again. Again, that's only because of my recording. It doesn't actually look like that. Then go to sound. Just make sure activate sound and activate PC speakers are active. Click on drives. You'll see your default hard drive there. And then click add. You want to select the type folder as hard disk and then go to your war2 folder and then make sure your drive letter matches what you did in the configuration file that needs to be the same and click OK now launch the setup start with digital setup auto detect and hit OK auto set and OK and then test it your sound card works perfectly so our sound card works perfectly so let's hit OK and go to music setup there it didn't automatically detect anything so we'll just auto detect hit OK auto set OK click test so that's working fine as well. So I'll just click OK. And save and exit. 
and I'll go to edit in the file again and this time we'll set it to war2.exe and hit OK now when you launch the game you'll be able to play If you didn't do any steps correctly, when you first hit single player there, it'll say uh, CD is still required, but we didn't have that come up, so we definitely did all the steps correctly. So I'll just get into new campaign here and just see that it's, and it loads up. Click continue. Now when you first get in the game, although all these settings will help the game play better, you'll see when I'm scrolling, it still scrolls really fast. So you click menu, options, and speeds, and then just put mouse scroll and key scroll to the lowest. If you haven't done the if you haven't set some of the settings that I was if you haven't set the computer to simple or twenty thousand then it'll end up just still scrolling significantly faster and even if you minimize the speed it's still way too fast but with the 20,000 cycles or simple setting then you'll see it just scrolls nicely when you minimize the scrolling settings so that's all you need to do to get Warcraft 2 playing and scrolling without going at high speeds so I hope this helped and enjoy playing Warcraft 2